Have you ever wondered what Jesus meant, when he said, I am the Alpha, and the Omega? This is another way of saying, I am the beginning and the end, the first and the last. But he is really saying so much more. Jesus was declaring, I am God. I am that part of God called the Word. The reference to the first and the last comes from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Isaiah 44 6 says, Thus saith the Lord, the King of Israel, and his Redeemer, the Lord of hosts, I am the first, and I am the last, and beside me, there is no God. So being the first and the last, is clearly claiming to be God. Which Jesus claimed. Now that we have clarified who the first and last is, let's move on. When John wrote, In the beginning was the Word. He's trying to draw the reader's attention, back to the beginning, of the book of Genesis. For the beginning was, when God created all things by his word. As you are aware, most of the New Testament, was originally written, in the ancient Greek. However, Jesus spoke Aramaic. So, while John writes in Revelation, I am the Alpha, and the Omega. What Jesus would say in Hebrew or Aramaic, would be. I am the Aleph, and the Tav. Alpha, is the first letter of the Greek alphabet, and Omega is the last. But the first letter, of the Hebrew, is the Aleph. And the last, is the Tav. The real essence of what Jesus meant, can only be revealed, when we translate it back into Hebrew. And it's then that we discover, a wonderful secret. This phrase did not originate with the book of Revelation. But actually comes from the very first sentence, in the book of Genesis. So when Jesus says to John, I am the Aleph and the Tav, he is in fact clarifying, a mystery that has existed since the Torah, was first written. The first sentence of the Bible is most frequently translated, in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. John's Gospel also begins with, in the beginning. And, right in the middle of the first Hebrew sentence of Genesis, is an untranslated word. Which you will only find, in the Hebrew Bible. In fact, it is untranslatable because it is not a word at all. It is simply, the Aleph, and the Tav. These two letters, have remained a mystery to the Jewish scholars for years. Actually, it is to this Aleph, and Tav, that Jesus was referring. Just as the book of Revelation begins and ends with Jesus saying, I am the Alpha and the Omega. So too does the Bible also begin, with those very same two letters, which refer to the word of God himself. The Aleph, and Tav. John writes, In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning, with God. All things came into being through him, and apart from him, nothing came into being, that has come into being. Jesus is the word of God. He is God's word, from the first letter of the alphabet, the Aleph, to the last, the Tav. He is right there with God, in that very first sentence of Genesis. He is the living, word of God from Genesis, to Revelation. He is the mouth of God, and when he speaks, things are created by his words. In him is life, because he is the one who spoke God's words, and brought us into being, through the power of the Holy Spirit. But that's not all. Amazingly the very first Hebrew word in Genesis, depicts the whole plan of God's salvation, for man. The original Hebrew, is not the same as the Hebrew we have today, but has evolved, from Hebrew pictographs. These original Hebrew letters, bring amazing insight, into the meaning behind God's words. The first word in the Bible is the Hebrew word, Barashit. Translated as in the beginning. This is how the word, Barashit, looks in the original pictographs. It's comprised of the Hebrew letters, Bet, pictured as a house, or tent, and means house, as in the house of God. Rish, is pictured as a man's head, meaning the first or highest person. Aleph, is pictured as an ox head, 
meaning God and strength, as in the Lord is my strength. Shin, is pictured as, two teeth, meaning to consume or destroy. Yod, is pictured as an arm, from the fist to the elbow, meaning my hand or works. And Tav, is pictured as two crossed sticks, meaning a covenant, or mark. The very first two letters of Barashit, the Bet, and Drish, form the Hebrew word Bar, which means son, as in my son. The Aleph is God. The Shin means destroyed. The Yod is the hand or works. And the Tav, are the two crossed sticks, which mean covenant. In John 2:19, Jesus said to the Jews, Destroy this temple, and in three days, I, will raise it up. Then the Jews said, This temple was forty-six years building, and will you rear it up, in three days? But he spoke, of the temple, of his body. Look at the symbol, for Bet. It is the very house, of God. In the form of man, the highest person. And amazingly these two letters together, formed the word for son. Yes indeed, the Son of God referred to himself, as the temple of God. And clearly we can see that in the very first word of the Bible, God's wonderful plan of salvation, was prepared. That the Son of God, would destroy, the sinful works of our hands. On the covenant cross, of sticks. Isn't that astounding, that the first word of the Bible, could contain so much truth? Without doubt God's plan to save man, was there from the foundation of the world. And the book of Revelation, 13:8 confirms this by calling Jesus, the Lamb, slain from the foundation of the world. Yes, from the foundation of the world. From the first word Barashit, spoken in Genesis. But, there is an even deeper meaning, to the Alpha and Omega, the Aleph, and Tav found in the first verse of Genesis. For in the original Hebrew pictographs, the Aleph, or Alpha, is portrayed as an ox head, meaning God, and strength. And the Tav, or, Omega, is the two crossed sticks of covenant. Yes in the Alpha, and Omega, we find the whole plan of God. That God himself, symbolized, by the ox head, would make a covenant with man, by the cross, of sticks. Yes my friend. God the word, became, like a sacrificial animal. The ox or lamb, which was slaughtered, as a sin offering. And he was placed, on that cross, of sticks. The Aleph, and Tav. The first and the last. Portrays the whole story of the Messiah. That God would place, his sacrificial animal, his strength his leader, the Messiah, on a cross of sticks, as a sign, to mark, his covenant with man. It's absolutely astounding, that the ancient Hebrew, could tell the whole story of the Messiah, in two letters. And it's clear that the cross, was not originally a Roman symbol, but, a Hebrew symbol, which meant covenant. But the Jews wouldn't know this unless they had studied the ancient Hebrew letter, Tav. When God told Moses to write the Aleph, and Tav, in the book of Genesis, and told the prophet Isaiah, that he was the first and the last. God himself was declaring. You see this Jesus, he is the Messiah. Who is going to die on the cross, for the sinful works, of your hands. He, is the creator, who was in the beginning. He is the perfect sacrificial animal, placed on the cross of sticks. He is my word. He is my covenant. He, is my signature, my alpha, and omega. And he, is your, salvation. So now we understand, why John wrote, in the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word, was God. He was in the beginning, with God. So the Bible declares, that without the one, called, the Word, nothing would have come into existence. For the Word, is the part of God which spoke all into being. In John 14 7, Philip said to Jesus, Lord, 
show us the Father, and it is sufficient for us. Jesus said to him, Have I been with you, for so long a time? And yet, you have not known me Philip. He that has seen me, has seen the Father. So how can you say, show us the Father? Jesus declared that seeing him, was the same, as seeing the Father. Because Jesus himself, is the exact image, of the Father.